you know, when, when we're talking about, like, about this issue of escape, um, and uh, many things came into mind, but there was a specific thing of escape that we said, you know, we really have to figure out how to deal with this, is that escaping not, m most of the times is not so voluntary as we think. No. Uh, escaping the city uh, in today's context, especially in the New York City context, is really a forced form of escape. Um, um, myself, right now, I mean, dire pressure to figure out if they raise my rent next year, uh, if I'm going to be able to stay where I stay. And I'm escaping. You know, I escape my neighborhood, I escape um, many other uh, places. And people are not in such a good position as I am, uh, where they're really escaping, like seriously escaping either to a shelter or pretty much outside of the city, you know, where it's uh, no longer. We've all heard also many issues about the last 12 years of, uh, of management of the city under Bloomberg administration, how much sort of disparity has produced around this. Uh, I guess if you are from New York, you have experienced the rise of prices, like seriously experienced it. You know? If you don't live in a rent control apartment, and even if you live in a rent control apartment, uh, you're experiencing or about to experience perhaps the expiration of, uh, of the rent control. So your house will be turned into market price and you will be paying $3,000 for a two bedroom at least. Right? And so these are issues that, that concern us, uh, concerns us a lot um, uh, when we're discussing about the city. And part of the work that cohabitation strategies has been focusing, specifically in New York, um, is being around the issues of housing as one of the culprits or perhaps one of the main or most important conditions that form the city today.